but I'm happy to report that I do have an MA today, um, which is really all that I can ask for these days. So, um, just a little new, but I don't mind because I need the help. So, um, it was a little bit chaotic this morning because she doesn't quite get the flow, but like, like I said, it's totally fine. I can help with that. And this afternoon, it's not going to be too shabby based on how my schedule looks. So I'm about to run into the gym, do a quick workout, and then we'll just like head back to work and be done. I'm so like, I feel like I need a week's long break, you guys. I'm like exhausted. Um, my, I wanted to give you guys like an aura ring update. So I guess I'll give just like a little one right now. But the fun thing about your aura app is it doesn't just track like your steps or your exercise. It also tracks your sleep, which I think is super interesting. And it gives you a readiness score, which is based on several things. Um, so you can look here. It's based on all these things right here. So your body temperature, um, the sleep that you got, your resting heart rate, all of those things. So finally today I got a good readiness score because for the last couple of days, I've had a terrible readiness score. My aura ring has actually been like, do you feel sick? Because your body temperature is elevated. Um, and I haven't felt sick. So I don't know, it's been kind of weird, but like yesterday my readiness, readiness score was a 74, the day before was a 78, and anything above 80 I think is considered optimal or something like that, I don't know. But um, I was 85 today, and then I really like about the sleep, like it tells you how long it takes you to fall asleep, which I don't know, I just think that's so interesting. This is all of the stuff that it gives you about your sleep, so how long you were in REM sleep, deep sleep, light sleep, um, the latency score, yeah, the latency score is the time it takes you to fall asleep. So it took me 11 minutes to fall asleep last night. I was asleep for seven hours and 42 minutes. And then the white part is the, your awake time. I think the light blue part is your light sleep. And then the dark blue part is your deep sleep. Oh, and the medium blue is like, no, sorry. Your light blue time is your REM sleep. The medium blue type is your light sleep and the deep sleep is the dark blue. So I didn't get much time in deep sleep last night. I think it was because Hoosier got up a few times to go to the bathroom. So that woke me up. Like you could tell anytime I was in deep sleep, <laughs> excuse me, he woke me up to go to the bathroom. Um, so anyway, I don't know. I think it's super interesting. Do I think that I would like buy this again? knowing that it was $500 and like I think that I do really think that the content is very interesting but again it was $500 for this content and is it like changing my life no like it's giving me more knowledge but it's not necessarily changing my day to day so I actually thought about returning it but I don't know I'm still I've only had it for a week I have 30 days to return it so I think I'm gonna do like a, two, a full two weeks of it until I like actually decide <laughs> Get a Taco Bell. What have we done? Another year over. Hey, put me on. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> my hair. It's like 10:30 at night right now. Maybe a little bit later. 10:40. Um, we made tacos for dinner, and we watched Survivor, the finale of The Amazing Race. Took the dogs on a walk. And now we're just watching, there's a volleyball tournament. I think it's like the volleyball tournament for college going on at Amelie Arena in Tampa right now. So they're broadcasting it on TV. But I am going to get ready for bed. And I thought I would show you guys my skincare routine because I've been getting a lot of questions on TikTok about my skincare. Also, I don't know if I showed you guys this on the vlog or I don't think I did. I got this super cute set from Set Active. They're, it's like a pajama set. I'm just <laughs> through this. Um, sweater over top of it when we were taking a walk because it's cold outside but the sweater is from Abercrombie and the set is just super cute very like holiday-esque but anyway um my skincare routine right now 
has been consisting of, let me put you guys right here. Put you guys in a different place. Oh my God, I was about to do my skincare routine. I've already done my skincare routine. I showered tonight, but I'll still show you guys what it is. So right now I just have had a few PR packages come in. So I'm just used like, going back going back and forth between different retinols this is like my og retinol product but it is over the counter it's different gel it's amazing for your skin i'm not prescribed a retinol but i honestly like need to get a prescription for it then i just got this mara i think i might have opened this package with you guys um but it's like a retinol and i've been using this for like two days and it's nice it smells like algae <laughs> and then um, honestly, for the last couple of weeks, I've just been using this Kiehl's um, Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum that has a retinol in it, and I really like that as well. Um, I got, I get, I'm on like Kiehl's PR list, so I do get a lot of their PR, so I feel like that's the majority of my skincare right now. I've been using their eye cream. Honestly, no eye cream I've ever used in my entire life has like made a difference in my eyes. So like, I, this is nice, but I wouldn't recommend it. And then I've just been using right now, I'm out of my, um, what is it called that I use? Uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. That's like my OG moisturizer, but I've been out for a little while and I have had this PR, so I'm just using this right now. Um, and it's the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, which honestly, this stuff is pretty good. Like I actually do really like it, but I prefer the, um, for say beauty that's just like my ride or die and that's it for skincare i feel like my skin right now is at a good spot i have like scarring in this area and i don't have any like oh these were like kind of active maybe no these are just like spots this spot right here i've actually been meaning to get lasered off at my work because it's like a um to land i don't know how to pronounce it well but like a telangiastasia it's basically just kind of like a, a spider looking artery and I need to get it lasered off because no skincare is going to do anything for it. But um, so I'm gonna, like floss my teeth, brush my teeth. And then I started reading this new book. I'm trying to think of what it's called. I'll show it to you guys, but I'm still like on the sample on my Kindle. So or my nook. So out of my reading, game like I have not finished a book since September you guys and like I usually finish at least one one book a month but all these books that I've started I swear it was this one book that really just got me into this reading funk it was kind of like a fantasy type book um it's not the one that everybody's like raving about nowadays but I, I hated it so much that like I have I picked up my Kindle in October. I did finish one like spooky type book, which was really good. I really liked it. Um, it was about like witches and warlocks, um, and that was super cute for like the time. And then I tried to get into another one in October, and I never finished it. And now it's December and it's like Christmassy, so I'm like I don't want to be reading a book about like spooky stuff. So I'm trying to get into a Christmas book while I have like a week left of Christmas because it's. Next week is Christmas. No, not next week, but the week before is Christmas. So I'll show you guys what the book is. Good morning, you guys. I just finished a yoga class that kicked my booty tail. Um, I did not listen when she said get a pair of heavyweights and a pair of lightweights, and I got a pair of heavyweights and a little bit less heavyweights. <laughs> A, essentially a 10 and an eight pound and she was like it's all upper body and I was doing like these things with eight pounds and I, I couldn't do it I was like I just have to do a band my oh, like I'm gonna pass out <laughs> it was so hard um listen to the instructor don't overestimate yourself is the lesson of the day but it is 10 50 on Fridays my house or every other Friday our house cleaner comes and I need to be out of the house I don't necessarily have anything to do so I ordered just like a coffee at Starbucks I think I'm just gonna sit here for a little while maybe like do some um, like content creation on my phone I do have a few like stuff like a few videos that I need to edit that I can work on but honestly that shouldn't take me too long I don't know what we're gonna get up to today but 
Friday. I love a Friday morning yoga class and relaxing. That's like my favorite thing ever. Quickly turning into a car vlog, which I feel like I said in my last video, I hate editing my car clips because I'm in my car all the time and I feel like I'm vlogging in my car all the time and it's so annoying to me. I don't know if it's annoying to you guys. I hope it isn't because it's like half my vlogs. But anyway, finished up at World Market, got a little card. I'm just gonna write to her in and then I got two marsipan pigs super cute my family back when we all lived in the same house um, we used to give marsipan pigs in your stocking for Christmas because it's good luck um, like I said earlier my family is my mom's side of the family is Danish my grandparents came over here from Denmark so that my grandpa my grandfather could go to medical school so um, we do this I like try to keep this tradition going with Seth. He does not give me a marsipan pig, so I have no good luck, but I always put a marsipan pig in his stocking, and then I'm gonna send one to Jen and just kind of explain her that to her, and she like will think that that is the cutest thing ever. is super clean and I'm gonna make some crunch wraps for lunch I actually made crunch wraps for dinner last night and they were so good that I just could not stop thinking about them so I picked up some stuff from Publix to make it for lunch my house is so nice and clean I love when the cleaners come just makes my day and they even left me a little gift let's open the gift together so cute she always leaves me a little note um mug cute so sweet they're the nicest people and some oh my god shortbread cookies <laughs> fun fact about me i love shortbread i think it's so good so sweet With a cup of coffee if i hadn't had a cup of coffee already today i would totally do that here sleep in his bed oh never mind he's coming over here honey I know um I just like totally forgot that Taylor Swift like the Eras tour movie came out and I was like you know what am I gonna do it? it's 20 bucks um to watch it I've already spent like hundreds of dollars on my tickets but then I was like what else am I doing and I am literally five minutes in and I just remember like this was one of the best nights of my life, which sounds so dumb, so cliche, but you guys, it was so good. I was talking to one of my friends because I want to go to the one that she's going to in Miami next year, but tickets are like crazy expensive, like thousands of dollars for nosebleed tickets. And I'm like just sitting here watching this, I'm like I need to go again. Like I need to, you guys, it's so good. beautiful oh my god this is literally like the best thing ever good morning you guys i saw this recipe on tiktok for an espresso that had like honey in the bottom and then they poured their espresso over top so i'm gonna make that this morning i'm gonna mix 
mix it up, make sure that all the honey is like dissolved. It's like nice and thick. I wish I knew how to make latte art because I can make this really pretty, but I don't. I'm a little bit of a little bit of this cocoa cinnamon sugar. I've had this from Trader Joe's for several years. Kind of ruin the vibe. It's not super cute, but let's try it. Honestly, it smells really good. Mmm, that's really good. It's like super creamy. Mmm. Yeah, I highly suggest trying that. Um, I'm also making some rice this morning for Hoosier because he, I slept terrible last night. He was up at least four times because he had to go number two. Eventually, I just literally put him in the, um, in the living room with our doggy door open so he could go in and out because I could not get up anymore. Like my restfulness score is like, or my readiness score on my aura ring is like a 62 because of how terribly I slept last night. So I'm gonna make him just some rice for breakfast this morning. And he'll love that. He like prefers to eat human food over his friend King any day. Eating it. Oh, it's such yummy, Uzi. Sweetie. And I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. We are going downtown to go do a little shopping and then we're going to church. So I needed to make it work for both. <laughs> I always show, show you guys my outfits in my guest bedroom because the lighting, I don't have overhead lighting in my room. So I just have like a little turtleneck on and then this like sweater thing. I got it from Newly. Um, the turtleneck I think it's from Abercrombie and it's super old and then these pants are from Abercrombie they are the um, baggy yeah they're called like the baggy or something like that and I got them in a size 24 I would recommend like sizing down I'm usually a size 25 but um, in that collection I really like to size down and then I'm just wearing some cute little loafers I could show them to you guys like this as well. We have a friend here. Um, and the loafers are from Madewell. <laughs> You're so cute. Hi. 